Hello all, once again, back to the Fisher Chess classes. Today we are going to study the Greek sacrifice. Now, the player who played London system frequently, they should study this uh, theme. It's called Greek gift also and Greek sacrifice also. We'll see one game of Gatakamaski and Sam Shackland. Uh, Gatakamaski, of course, US uh, top rank player and Sam Shackland also very young uh, super grandmaster. This game was played in 2014 when Gata Gatakamaski had a 2709 rating and Sam is 2611. This game started with a d4. Gatakamaski played d4. White played an f6, bishop f4. Typical London system style. d5, e3, e6, knight d2. Generally, players play an f3 here, but Kamaski, Gatakamaski played knight d2. c5, c3, completing the pyramid or pawn chain, knight c6, knight f3, bishop 2, d6. Now, many players played here bishop e7 also, but bishop d6 also playable. Now, on bishop d6, uh, generally Magnus Carlsen played, he, uh, he does not move his bishop, and he directly played bishop d3. But here, Gatakamaski played bishop to g3. This is also style to play. Technically, we should not play same piece twice as per the basic chess rule. But here, Gatakamaski played bishop g3. What is the advantage of bishop g3 here? If bishop will take this bishop, for example, then we will get an open rook file and you can play queen e, uh, you know, knight e5, queen f3 and go for the long castle. So Gatakamaski played bishop to g3, black immediately castle, and now bishop d3. Queen e7. Now, black plan is very simple to push this pawn further. If black able to push this pawn, then black get uh, equality in the London system. So, here immediately, Gatakamaski played knight to e5. Now, what is the knight e5 benefit here? If now the first is black cannot push this pawn, second, black cannot take knight takes knight because pawn takes and it will be a fork. Now, take an example. If we take knight takes, this will be a fork. So, black played knight fd7. Plan is to play. He could go for f6 in future. So, but of course, that is a weaken of e6 square and king side 2. Now, in this position, if I ask you, this is white to play and win the game. This is just move number 9. But white is already having winning advantage in this game. You can pause the video. And... Uh, just check it out how white can win this game. Okay, if you find this move, knight takes d7. This is wonderful move. Knight takes d7. Uh, bishop takes d7 is questionable move, but okay. Uh, queen takes d1, d7 could be the better, but result would be the same. Bishop takes d7. Bishop takes d6. Queen takes d6. And now deflecting the queen, pawn takes c5. Queen takes c5. Of course, it's a force move almost. And now here again, the question number two, you can pause the video and check. It's a white to play and win. And here we are, uh, I want to introduce today's chapter is a Greek sacrifice. Greek sacrifice is a, uh, is a move when we play bishop takes h7. It's called Greek gift also. So when you play here, bishop takes h7, it's called Greek sacrifice. And of course, if you find this move, this is, this is the best in this position. And here Gatakamaski gone for bishop takes h7. King takes h7, it's a force move of almost queen h5, king g8. And again, pause the video and find out the continuation in this position from the white side. Take a one minute. And how white can continue? White is already one piece down. So he need to be a force continuation in this. He need to find out the candidate move here. Please pause the video and find out the move. What should white play here? If you find the knight to e4, this is a wonderful move. Uh, here, black must resign. Yes, this, this game could continue with uh, uh, queen c4 and all, all, all this move. But knight is going to g5. Take an example. If queen will go back, but knight g5. And this is this check, uh, this checkmate cannot be stopped. There's only one option. He can, get, uh, he can give up his queen. But of course, he's a queen loss. So, of course, uh, you know, this game will be very soon favor to the white. If you play f6 also or f5 or something, still it's a checkmate. And this is a use of Greek sacrifice. We'll see some puzzles uh, on this chapter. I would recommend to uh, use the 
uh, build your chest part 2 for the greek sacrifice <clears throat> let's go for the one position here of greek sacrifice this is a position and uh, it's a white to play and win the game now again it's a greek gift a very good example of greek gift and here you can find the greek gift means bishop takes at seven here you can pause the video and you know that how uh, this is chapter about the greek gift so the first move you can judge that bishop takes at seven will be there but now do the calculation how white will win after bishop takes at seven so bishop takes at seven king takes at seven queen instead of queen okay queen is possible but queen h6 will come so here white has gone for first rook h3 check king g8 and now queen h5 queen h6 again pretty forced move but move here is knight f5 queen takes a uh, queen knight e7 check first and there is no square for the king and after this rook takes h5 is a checkmate this is another example of greek sacrifice let's go one more uh, <clears throat> one more greek sack example here this is this time is a black to play you know this is greek sack so of course is a bishop takes at seven but pause the video and try to calculate how white will win after bishop takes at seven so who is bishop takes at seven king takes at seven knight g4 check and now let's let's think king will go to the g8 will go queen h5 and this is unstoppable checkmate the same which we have seen in last uh, puzzle and if king will go to the g3 this is check f5 n person king takes force and you can clearly see king in in the same time it's very easy to uh, check mate you can just pause the video and find out mate in one also is rook e3 and it's a check mate let's go next this is uh, from the book of yusupov uh, you can go uh, you can just take the yusupov book and check it out build your chess chapter number 12 you will get all these puzzles there and i will recommend this is a very good book uh, for inter level and advanced level students both this is again white to play greek sack pause the video and do the calculation how white will win who is bishop takes h7 king takes h7 queen h5 king g8 and now knight c6 tempo the queen next move is queen knight e7 the problem is if white like a black try to you know secure his queen then knight e7 it's going to be a checkmate and if you play g6 for example we'll go queen at 6 and knight e7 again checkmate and this is not possible to stop because if you move the rook to stop this we'll take this queen again a great example of greek sack let's go next move again a greek gift or greek sack white to play win the move win the game pause the video and find out the calculate continuation move is bishop takes at seven again king takes and now knight e5 sacrificing the knight uh, of course here if you take uh, pawn takes then uh, this is you can easily understand the rook check king and then queen check is a checkmate or uh, you can give first queen check and this is a check and this is going to be a checkmate so black didn't accepted this did accept this uh, pawn takes knight so he played rook to d8 just deflect the queen but now knight queen h5 check g8 rook g4 check king f8 and now queen takes f7 so this is the fourth puzzle we have solved of greek sacrifice uh, you can just go to the other puzzles uh, this is you can find out the greek sack on leeches also you can find out in google also uh, examples of greek sacrifice on you can prefer the usopo build your chess part 2 and chapter number 12 of greek gift let's go one more example here of greek gift now you understood what to do with the when you play the greek gift here we'll continue with that is a bishop takes at 7 greek sack king takes knight g5 king g6 now let's see king g8 but this uh, this is impossible to stop it this is going to be a checkmate so knight g5 king g6 and here we'll go king 
queen to h3 knight takes pawn because rook will not work here means like if you play this rook also this is uh will just go queen g5 also and then discover check is also coming so black decided to take knight takes e5 so if like pawn takes e5 it will go queen takes but queen h7 check king f6 and now knight to e4 d takes e4 which is force knight takes e4 and this is a checkmate so this is a tactical tool of uh, all chess players so you can study the greek sacrifice Thank you so much.